Welcome back. Plenty of sun now around the region. Dublin still seeing a handful of those scattered clouds out there, but the rest of us, uh, they have largely cleared out. And it's going to be a clear night as we roll into the overnight hours tonight. It's also going to be a little bit on the chilly side out there. Look at this. North Georgia, a couple of frost advisories in effect ahead of tomorrow morning. Obviously, that's not the case here in middle Georgia, but we are still going to be well below average. In fact, we could start with earlier this morning. We got down to 43 degrees. That's 10 below that average of 53. Today's high of 69 in Macon is 11 below the average of 80. So when we get warmer towards the end of this week, we're actually going to be right around where we should be. Obviously, the 89s and 90s of last Friday were well above where we're supposed to be for April, but now it's pretty cool. If you have evening plans, make sure to have an extra layer with you. 44 degrees for our overnight low in Macon. That wind from the east-southeast as we go towards tomorrow morning, but low to mid 40s across the board. You got Sparta and Gray at 42, Roberta 43, same in Hawkinsville, 46 in Cordell. That'll be the warm spot as we get ready to roll into our Tuesday. So we get some high pressure to come in tomorrow and that is going to keep sunny skies all day long. Highs in the mid 70s. I mean textbook perfect weather day. If you don't have any obligations, you know, head out, do something outdoors, you know, maybe go fishing. Uh, Braves are hosting. Granted, that's at night, but they're going to be hosting the Marlins again tomorrow. There is a game today as well. If you're going to make the trip up to Atlanta. Now, once we get to Wednesday, Partly cloudy skies are basically going to be possible the rest of the week. Partly to mostly cloudy at that as this, I know it looks like a cold front right now, but that's a stationary front. That is a stationary front in terms of its behavior. You're not going to see cooler temperatures coming in after it. So stationary front stalls out. We'll get a few isolated rain chances to come of that over the later parts of this week. As for this evening, we will not see any rain. We're going to be around those average lows. We approach the midnight hour or shortly thereafter with lows in those mid 40s by tomorrow morning. As for tomorrow afternoon, well, first we get to lunchtime, right? Upper 60s, low 70s. That's well below average. We'll still be below average for the high with mid 70s out there, but then we get into our Wednesday. Cloud cover will start to move in the form of serious clouds. We get into our Wednesday morning. Should be a pretty sunny day for the most part early, but in the afternoon, a few more clouds start to fill in and we could see some rain chances enter the fray as we get into our Wednesday evening in the form of a few isolated showers. Now, if you were outdoors over the weekend, there was a chance you may have been bit by mosquitoes. Good news. And the amount of those will be down the next couple of days while temperatures are a bit cooler. But as we start to warm up later in the week, the number of mosquitoes will begin to rise. As for pollen levels, all the yellow stuff that's been making us miserable the last several weeks, that is now backing off. We're not going to be seeing as much tree pollen now. However, the grass pollen is reaching its peak season as we head into the later parts of April and towards May. 75 for a high in Macon tomorrow. Again, not a bad one if you want to go fishing with that wind nice and gentle out of the southwest. Your extended forecast is coming up in 10 seconds. Your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7 day forecast is brought to you by Volume Chevrolet. So we're gradually warming up as we roll through this week. Some upper 70s Wednesday and Thursday towards the low 80s. I mean, every day after tomorrow, there's at least some form of a chance of rain in there, but none that's super widespread. 